The Hotless module in Maximizer is both simple and clever. Simple because it really is easy to use and clever because there are neat things you can do with this module that you may not have discovered. Let's begin with simple. I'm going to go to my address book. I'm going to highlight Rennie Chung and I'm going to schedule a to-do with him. There are three ways I can do that. The easiest way perhaps is to click on actions and schedule a to-do. This brings up the dialog box where I can put in the details of this task that I want to do with Rennie. The second way of doing it is simply to right click on Rennie's name and then schedule a to-do. I get the same dialog box where I have to fill out the particulars of this task. Let's assume on this first uh, task I want to call Rennie to visit regarding our proposal. And let's set this for the 30th of September and we'll leave everything else primarily the way it is, created by myself and assigned to myself, and we'll click OK. Once I have done that, it shows up in Rennie's Activities window, and it also shows up over here in the Hotlist module. Here's the task with Rennie. Let's go back over to the Address Book window, and let's do something else. The third way to schedule a task is to go to Rennie's Activities window and click on Task. This brings up the same dialog box. This time let's say it is to send information. That's the task that has to be done. We'll schedule this for the 30th of September as well, but this time I'm going to assign it to Ian instead of taking it on myself. I click OK. When I click OK to the task, I get this advice. The task will not be visible in the, my current hot list. It will appear in Ian's. Do you wish to continue? And I click OK. I then get a chance to send him an email if I want to let him know that this task is coming his way. If I slip over to the hot list window, I'll notice this most recent task does not show up for me. If I go back to the address book window though and go to Rennie's activities tab, it does show up there. So even though this task was assigned to Ian instead of to me, I can see both of them in Rennie's activities window. Now let's take a look at clever item number one. I'm going over to the hot list window and there are two filters that are very important that I can apply. The first one is right here. When I click this down arrow, I can choose a number of different things. I could ask to see only today's hot list tasks. That would be identical to using my workday. I prefer to pick next month. This allows me to see tasks that are due today, plus tasks that are coming up for me as far away as the next month. So instead of waiting to get hit with a task on a different day in that month, I can actually look ahead and plan ahead and be prepared for those tasks that are coming up. The second filter is this little puppy right here. When I click on it, by default, Maximizer is showing me my activities, but if I want to, I can look at the activities of all users, or I could click here and ask to simply see the activities of, for example, Ian if I wanted to. And as a courtesy, I would probably check his activities out before assigning something new to him. If I was a manager, I might want to see how my staff were doing in staying on top of the activities that belong to them. Now for clever item number two. I notice I have two tasks coming up on September 30th, and remember I'll have to go out of town that day, so I'm not going to be able to fulfill those two on time. I can do two things. I can right-click after selecting them, and I could reassign them to somebody else in the office. Alternatively, I can right-click and I can modify the task date. This allows me to push it ahead, let's say, to next week when I'm back in town. Let's go to October, and let's say October 5th is a date would work for me, or I can move the task a certain number of days ahead, tell the program to skip non-work days, and accomplish the same kind of a result. I'll click OK and those two tasks have now been moved ahead to October 5th as I wanted. Now this may not seem like much of a big deal when I only have two tasks where I have to change the date when they're expected to be done, but if instead of two I had 20 or more, this could be a real time saver. And finally, there are two alternatives to clever item number three. The first one is, I think, obvious. When I'm pointing, for example, to Alistair Jackson, this task of sending brochures to him, I not only get to see the task, 
but down below here I get to see his address book entry details and following windows so I can view that task in the context of the person to whom they apply. As an alternative, I can use the hot list module to build the address book list that I will be working on today. Let me show you how that works. The first thing I do is go back to the address book and I go to view, clear the list. Then I return to the hot list window, select the task that I'm interested in, click on this button that says view an address book. Maximizer flips me back over to the address book and brings up the entry to whom that particular task applies. Now I'll go back to the hot list window select any other tasks that I'm interested in and again click view an address book and once again Maximizer will bring the entries back up here for me to see and to work with. I now have the entries from my database that I want to focus on today. When I'm ready I can mark the task with Bill Anderson as complete simply by clicking the box here in his activities window. Maximizer will then prompt me as to whether or not I want to schedule a further follow-up with him. At this point in time, I will simply say no. I can do the same thing now for Gail, or if I preferred, I could slip over to the hot list window and mark her task or tasks complete there. So who knew that simply making a list of things to do could turn out to be such a contributor to an efficient workday? Bye-bye.